Hey guys, today I'll be going to my office from my home on my electric bike. This is really a piece of my heart and by far one of my best investments. I'll be recording the whole route and the trajectory is about uh, 6 kilometers from my home roughly. With, for me it's a lot of uphill and downhill. That's why I've opted for an electric bicycle. Let's go. And it's three degrees outside, so I've covered well. So this is the lane of my home that I'm exiting right now. This is just for uh, cyclists here. It's a Piste Cyclable, so if a bicycle is uh, passing by the street, it has a priority over the cars. So straight away, no cars can go except, you know, only bicycles can go. So I'll enjoy the privilege. And this is something you find throughout uh, Brussels. And I really like that. It makes me feel <laughs> special. Wow, I must tell you, such kind of days are really rare in Brussels. Look at the wonderful sun. Of course, it will be playing hide and seek. Oop, please go. They're so stubborn. It's green, we can pass by straight. To my left is Gagandeep. You must have seen the Indian store video. So yes, it's really near to my house. There's electric bicycle. So I've observed in the past four years, lots of, you know, uh, companies have been giving offers for trottinets, electric scooters, electric bikes, big players like uh, Uber bike. That's uh, Maison Antoine, one of the most popular street shops in Brussels. And this is the vicinity of Place Jordan or Place Jordan, whatever you may like to call it. I really love the cute shops here. And now we go on our cycling road. I can never imagine myself <laughs> cycling this way up. This can be extremely tiring. And this is like inevitable if you're in Brussels. So that's why that was the biggest reason I chose an electric bike. And it has served me well so far. I'm happy. I mean, in the month of uh, April, it will be two years already with this bike. So honestly, it turned out to be a good investment. By the way, I'm riding on the fourth gear and uh, I rarely change it. It's like a very comfortable pace with this bike, this battery. Ah, you see, they are parked in the bicycle stopping zone. So I really hate when someone does that. So yeah, there I am. So I'm continuing on Chaussée de Vavre. There's, a, there's an amazing beer shop named Beer Mania. You'll find it to my right. It has, I visited there once. It's like, uh, it has lots and lots of variety of beer from across different countries. And it's cloudy again, you see. That's why I said it will be like hide and seek of sun. Hide and seek with sun today. But fine, 
I really love it when you know the sun is there. It adds so much of energy to your day. So this is the uh, excels and uh, it's preferred by community from Africa. So you'll get lots of African grocery stores in this area. As we go further, the traffic will become dense because uh, people have to find place for the parking, they wait. But um, I'll try to continue in this lane of cycling. It's for the reverse direction, but I hope we can use it. And we have reached Port de Namur. Very bustling area of Brussels. You, it's a shopping center here. You get almost every brand. And uh, you can call this kind of a high street because you have huge number of luxurious brands to my right. You find Versace, Carolina Herrera, Hermes, you'll find ah, some of the brands I don't even know. So that's the beauty of the city. You'll find people moving here and there and then each and every kind of crowd is there. You know, it's perfect, you know, multicultural mix. You saw there was a couple who was running. So it has lots of flavors. And I think for me, that's what I love the most. This huge queue to the right at Gucci store. So here I've got back my cycling lane. And now begins actually, you know, a lot of uphill. And actually one day I came on a test ride uh, with my husband to try to come and go from office. It was a holiday uh, during COVID times. Just to test, is it really feasible to ride uh, to work and come back? on a regular bicycle and I was like unpleasantly surprised uh, this particular route that we are covering right now it just made me so tired my legs were hurting and I mean I'm not a seasoned cyclist then I thought no I, I, I cannot go to office on a bike which is just a uh, a regular bike I need some assistance so we found a good deal at Decathlon this is uh, between folding bicycle it has a battery and the fold deal cost us um, 800 euros I didn't find any bicycle as good cheaper than this so I wouldn't have chosen anything else and now after two years the battery is kind of you know giving up it's not as powerful as it used to be I've given it uh, uh, for repairs the bicycle uh, because it's within the guarantee so they replaced certain things in my bike for free but now it's like uh, in one visit to office while you come back during that path the battery kind of starts to give up so I suspect just uh, it's a matter of a few months then uh, maybe I'll have to buy a new battery or change my bike 
anyways i would want to continue to be a cyclist as far as we talk about the commute within the city it's eco friendly it's health friendly but if i really don't get any good option then i'll have to switch to public transport or riding my own uh, driving my own car To my right is Gare du Midi, the south station of Brussels. It's a huge, big station where you find connectivity with the tram, the bus, the metro, the international trains, intercity trains, the home network trains. So I was the 296th cyclist to pass by this street. As per the meter, that was to my right. Whenever I cross by Schumann's meter, it's all already like thousand plus in the morning. So sometimes I wonder which one gives the most correct value. So when I used to come to office pre-COVID times, I didn't have a bike to come to office, the electric bike. So I used to prefer trams mostly. Uh, so the tram used to drop me somewhere to the left, and then it was about. Uh, 10 minutes walk until my you know desk but it has been long now almost almost coming to 2 years that uh, i have come by that route so i'll enter to the right now below the bridge it's not one of the you know cleanest areas of brussels no the south station area is notorious for uncleanliness a quick visit i literally had to just collect a envelope